Hi, and welcome to the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. Today is a celebration of the Trinity. Who is the Trinity? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. That's the Trinity. On my prayer table right here, I have a beautiful white cloth. And in each corner, you can see there's a Celtic knot, which is a circle with three other circles all intertwined. And this is a symbol the Irish use to explain the Holy Trinity. They use it as a symbol of the Holy Trinity because it is three and also one. We have our Blessed Mother on our prayer table because it's the last weekend in the month of May where we celebrate Our Lady. Our candle is lit as a reminder that God is with us, that God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is with us. And we also have the words from the Holy Bible, which we will listen to in just a moment. Let us pray. Come, God the Father. Come, God the Son. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. You might remember this song from Children's Liturgy of the Word. One for God the Father, two for God the Son, three for God the Holy Spirit. God is three and God is one. Will you sing that with me? One for God the Father, two for God the Son, three for God the Holy Spirit. God is three and God is one. That's what we believe. We believe that God is three and one. It is one of the greatest mysteries in our faith, in our Catholic faith. At the very beginning of time, in the book of Genesis, the very beginning of the Bible, we hear about the story of creation. And God says, let us make man in our image. Now, if you were talking about our you would know that that word our means multiple, right? It's if we say our father, I mean my father and your father. So we hear that the very beginning of scripture, God says, let us make man in our image. Hmm, that's a plural word. It's a word meaning our so God is at the very beginning telling us something about himself, that God is our. So let's ponder that. We're going to ponder that as we listen to the Holy Gospel today. We're going to hear Jesus tell the disciples to baptize. And he says to you some very special words that are used today in baptism. So I'm going to... Have us read the Holy Gospel. Let's welcome it with our song. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. The Gospel of the Lord, we say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What did Jesus say to do? To baptize. Go baptize all nations. And how do they baptize? In what name do they baptize? I'll give you a hint. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And today, that is how babies, adults, teenagers, older children, grandparents get baptized. That is how they're baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When water is poured on their head, it's poured three times in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Wow. We share that baptism with all who were baptized before us, with everyone that's ever received the light of Christ that we received at our baptism. They are all members of the Catholic family, God's family. God himself is a family. That is one of the many amazing things about our faith is that we have a God who is a family. The best way I've heard the Trinity described is God the Father, God the Son, and the love shared between them is the Holy Spirit, the eternal love shared between God the Father and God the Son is the Holy Spirit. Now, we need to be careful here and remember, we don't believe in three gods. We believe that God is three in one. How? It's a mystery. It's a mystery of our faith that we believe. And we can always ask God for the gift of faith because faith is a gift. It is a gift for us, but it's also a gift when we have the gift of faith, we're called to share with others. We heard that in the gospel, the apostles had the gift of faith. Jesus walked among them. They saw his miracles, they heard his voice. They received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost and were called to go out and to spread the good news about Jesus, about God, about the Holy Spirit, that we have a God who is love, a God who is family, he is a family. Wow, we also are given that call to go and baptize, to go and to share the good news, to teach other people about Jesus Christ, about the Holy Spirit, about God the Father. Each of them are God. One isn't more God than the other. Each of them is God and the same. Let's close in a prayer. And this is a prayer called the Glory Be. And you might have heard it before, but it's a beautiful prayer where we glorify each member of the Trinity. We recognize that they are distinctly different, yet one and the same. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. Would you pray that with me? Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me on this solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. It is such a gift to celebrate this day today. I want to encourage you to ponder and think about the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity today. God bless you. We'll see you next week as we celebrate Corpus Christi. You'll have to come back to find out what that means. God bless you.